Hi, this is a quick introduction to using the MetaTrader platform. When using the MetaTrader platform to make your trades, there's basically three main objects you have to know in order to, to use the, the platform. First is the market watch window on the left. Other one, the second one are the, the charts that you use to make trades, which you can use to charting and making trades. And the last is the terminal window on the bottom. You have your trade, your current trades, your account history, etc. So let's take a look at the market watch window. Market watch window has all of the symbols that you'll be able to trade. You can scroll down and see everything there. In addition, you can also make trades directly on the market watch window by simply clicking on your on your order. Now you'll see an order for the euro dollar. Uh, if you want to have different columns, you could right click and then get rid of your high low and then you'll only have the bid price and ask price over here. If you want to then add your high lows so you know where the high and the low of the day is, you can also just right click and add that. Or if you want to know the exact time, you can also just right click and add that column for time. Next are our charts. Uh, standard for MetaTrader is to have uh, four charts on the tra on the page. However, you can click up here for charts and you can add new charts if you want. In addition, you can also go to the market watch window and right click. And also put chart and get a new chart. <coughs> Let's look at one big chart over here. This is a chart of the Euro dollar. When using the charts, you have you can change the times by simply changing any of these M15, that would be a 15 minute chart, or a D1 would be a daily chart. If you want to change, scroll it, you just click one of these and then you could shift it around. Next important thing about charts is you can make trades on charts by simply right clicking and then you can just click trading and then you can have a new order. If you want to change the colors of the charts, you just again right click, go to properties, and you have all the different colors there. If you want to add grids or whatever you want to do, you can add it to the charts. If you want to change symbols, one of the better things about the MetaTrader, it's very easy to change symbols on the charts. You just grab the symbol you want, drag it in there, and then you can change it. So we went from, let's we went to the pound dollar. Now if you want to put the dollar yen, very simply, sit around changing some instruments. And as we said before, you can always just make trades on it. <coughs> let's take for our next part, let's take a make make a trade. So we have our dollar yen chart. We're gonna this opens up the order window. Now there's two different types of trades you can make. You can make a market execution order, which when you buy right now in market, you'll get the best price there is. Or you could do what's called a pending order. If you want to put a limit order or a stop order, then you just simply change type from market execution to pending order. If you decide you don't want to trade the dollar yen even though you have that chart up, you can also scroll down and pick whichever one you want here. So let's change it to the euro dollar. If you want to change our lot, one one lot is a currency of a is the nomination of 100,000 and you can trade up down till 0 0.01, which are mini lots over here. So let's just buy our you. Now, now that we have a couple trades, we could take a look at our, our trade window. Let's make it bigger for everybody. So you have our trade window. So the trade window on the bottom, the trade tab, shows our current trades, current positions we have open. Our account history shows us all of our previous trades. If you want to you could right click and look, look at the last three months, right look at the all history, or if you want, you could also look at a custom period. Let's say look at the last three days or today, et cetera, et cetera. Very simple. On our trade window, you'll see your current trade. So see our profit or loss on the current op position, whether it's a buy order, uh, the size of the, uh, the size of the trade, what symbol we're trading. Then we have the price over here, price that you bought it at, and then there's so it's the next time it says a column of price, that's the current price. Then you could also put your stop loss and take profit. So to add a stop loss or trade profit, you just simply click on S, 
on the SL or TP. And over here in the modify order, you could put your stop loss. So we could put one point to zero the stop loss and our take li take profit to put 1.22. Whatever you want, you could put it right there and then you just click modify and now you've entered your stop loss and your take profit. Now we see over here for SL and TP, we see our stop loss and take profit orders there. If you want to change it, you just click on it again. If you want to remove them, you just press zero. You just delete them and then you'll see you have we removed our stop loss. If you want to sell a mark, if you want to close your order, you can just simply go to the price, double click there, then you'll see here it says close order. Now, if we if we want to add to our order, we could press buy. If we want to, if we click on the sell order, we'll have what's called a hedge position. So before we bought, now if you notice, we have both a buy order and a sell order of the euro dollar. So we have a hedge position because we both have a short and a long of the same position. So let's close this off of here. It's going to just double click on the price and you can close it. Again, close it at market and we're going to get, when you close the market, you get the best price at that time. Um, that's pretty much it for using the MetaTrader. Just remember, when you're using the MetaTrader, the most important things to remember are the market watch window, the terminal window, and the chart window.